Su from Asia South uh, System Practice. I'm actually taking care of uh, the whole enterprise range or Spark range of servers uh, at uh, Asia South Sun. Uh, today, I'm just going to give you a grand tour of the M4000 and M5000, which is our mid range uh, Spark enterprise server, or some people would call it as the M series servers in Sun. Um, I have the server here next to me. Uh, maybe the video can just try to focus on the servers. Yes, yes. We have the N4000 right in front of you here. And what we see here is the 6U box here. And what we are looking at is lots of REST feature, serviceability features in this 6U box. And we are looking at around 4 CPU for this guy. And of course, M, we don't have an N. 5000 here, but it's in fact double the capacity and the size of N4000. Let me just walk you through. We are looking at two SAS um, drive here, and this SAS drive is, of course, is optable. We are looking at two and a half inch here, two of this. We are looking at DVD, read write, and we are looking at that drive is optional. And also, what we're looking at is two power supply. So uh, for N4000, we're looking at a one plus one power supply. And this one can be replaced from the front. And that's a feature whereby you don't have to down the system just to replace the power supply. We're looking at one plus one. So it can run on one single uh, power supply. Another feature that we are looking at is serviceability. This is normally put in a rack. And what happens is that you can actually do a pull. That means that within a rack, it's mounted on a rack mount. You can actually, actually pull it up. And what happens is that we know in most of the server, the first thing that fails is the fans. So what happens is that we don't want to shut down or power down the system in order to replace the fans. No. What happens is that the only thing you need to do is to pull it out. And after that, pull it out maybe halfway. Then we try to do a replacement. And the replacement can be done by assessing from the top. Let me just demonstrate how I actually remove a fan, a faulty fan. I'll just use a normal screwdriver with a very sharp pointed nose. Press and lift. Okay. While the system is running, that is very important, the serviceability of these systems. And we have two of these. Okay. So this is a fan replace. And we can install it back. Same, we have another two fan sitting here. Again, this can be replaced while the system is still running. This is much smaller fans to actually, because all the airflow is compartmentized. We're looking at airflow going to this air is going through the CPU and the memory, and this side is going through the PCIe slots at the back. So it's a much smaller fence. But again, this can be replaced without having to shut down the system. For M4000, we are looking at a four CPU system, and each two CPU sits in a single module. This is the module you are looking at. We actually pull out from the N4000. And what we are looking at is two CPU, each module. And all together, there's two of these module inside the N4000. In the N5000, we are looking at four of them. Because four times two, we are looking at eight CPU. So N5000, in fact, is a double of the N4000 in terms of CPU and memory. At the back of the system, we are looking at memory module. Okay, this is the memory module that has been taken out. And inside this memory module, we can see that it's a fully populated 8 DIMMs. Okay, it can be a 1 gig DIMMs, it can be a 2 gig DIMMs, and there's a roadmap for 4 gig DIMMs soon, within uh, 2 months' time. So, this is a fully populated, what you call, memory module that is 8 DIMM slots within this single module itself. 
because we are looking at when you need to replace the CPU and the memory, the system has to be shut down. For obvious reason, because the system, this is a major replacement of parts. So for memory and CPU, yes, you do have to shut down the system. One other thing is about M4000 that is very different from the rest of our competitor is that we can have mixed CPU. So what it means is that currently this system is a two core. Each CPU has two core. In maybe half a year's time, we are looking at one CPU using four core. What you need to do is that out of the two CPU module within the N4000, you can replace one and upgrade it. This can be upgraded by a per module basis. That means that this can be a module that is higher CPU, more core, that can be replaced a current older version of this. Alright, this is the back of the N4000. And what we are looking at is an IOU, IO unit whereby you have four PCI slots and one PCI slots. In the N5000, you should have two of these. That means that to the, together you should have eight PCIe and two PCI uh, X slots at the back of the system. But for N4000, you're only looking at a single IOU. Every single IOU or PCIe, you have a cassette or cage that house your PCIe card in here. Okay. This is something that you can hot swap the cut out while again the system is running. One other feature is the system controller we call the SCF system controller facilities whereby it is the main processor to control or monitor the entire system frames and this is modular. If this fails the domain continue to run okay the domain will continue to run but of course you miss the monitoring feature for the hardware. Another pieces that you need to take note is the power supply. We are looking at two C19 power supply. Again, each one of these will go to the individual power supply in front or two power supply in front. One to each power supply. So if one is to fail, the system will continue with the other. It's a one plus one configuration. Thank you.